Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Komal Kavar Shekhawat and I hope you all are doing great. So this is the fourth video in the generalized method of movement series. In this video, I shall explain how to run the system GMM model. You watched the previous videos on what is GMM, what is different GMM and system GMM and how to distinguish between these two methods of generalized method of movement. Okay, so this video explains how to use eViews to estimate a system GMM model. Right, so let's get started. See, there is no formal procedure available in eViews for estimating a system GMM currently. Okay, and it is not even in an add-in form. However, eViews can be used to pull the panel cross sections and thus can estimate the system GMM in the form of pooled main group that is PMG regression. Also, do join my Telegram channel for any queries and discussion and the link for the same is attached in the description box. Okay, so the procedure to estimate the system GMM is as follows. So you have to first estimate the model using the pooled OLS, that is pooled main group. Next, you need to estimate the model using the fixed effect. And third, you need to estimate the model using different GMM. Okay, so let's see how you can run the system GMM by following this procedure. So you need to open your file in eViews. Okay, so you need to open your file in eViews. As you can see, I have imported my data file in eViews and in my data set, there are four variables. One is the dependent variable and rest three are the independent variables. Okay, so in my data set, FLSP is the dependent variable and GDP, FR and LE, that is GDP, fertility rate and life expectancy. These three are the independent variables. So select all the variables. First, the dependent variable followed by the independent variable using the control key and open these variables as equation. Right? So as you can see over here, this is the equation estimation specification box. And here, the first one is your dependent variable. The next three are the independent variables. And see here is for the constant. So the first step is to estimate the pooled main group regression model. Okay. So the method selected over here is the method is least square. Now the most important thing that should be taken care of is that to estimate the system GMM, the regression coefficient of the left dependent variable is computed. Okay. So the dependent variable here is FLFP and it Lagged variable would be write the same variable again that is FLFP and its lag would be indicated by minus 1. So you can see the lag of the dependent variable has been inserted in the regression equation. Right? So once you have added the lag of the dependent variable, click OK. Alright, so these are the results for the pool mean group regression and now. You can see over here the value of the regression coefficient of the leg dependent variable. So the leg dependent variable is this first one, FLFP, and the value of the regression coefficient here is 1.00. Right? Now you can save this equation in order to refer later on. Okay, so this is equation one and click OK. All right, so the equation one is the equation of the regression run using the pooled main group regression, right? Now you can close this dialog box. Now the second step is to estimate the fixed effect, okay? So the value of the regression coefficient obtained through the pooled mean group regression is the upper bound, okay? Now we are going to estimate the value of the lower bound which is obtained using the fixed effect regression model. And to run the fixed effect regression model, again select the same set of variables that is first your dependent variable followed by 
the independent variables using the control key and open these variables as equation. Okay, so you can see over here, this is the regression equation. And again, you have to add the lag of the dependent variable, right? So the lag would be added as write the name of the dependent variable and put a minus one within brackets in order to mention or insert the lag of the dependent variable in the regression equation. Okay, so you can see over here, this first one is the dependent variable. Then we have added the lag of the dependent variable. And these three are the independent variables followed by C for the constant, right? Now to run the fixed effects, that is the second step for estimation of system GMS, you need to select over here in the panel options and in the effects specification, under this option of cross section, you need to select fit. Okay, so selecting fit, ensure that you are running the fixed effects model. Okay, so once you have chosen fit, click OK. So now you can see over here, the regression coefficient value for the lagged dependent variable is 0 0.97. So this is the lower bound. Okay, so we have obtained the upper bound from the PMG regression and the lower bound has been obtained using the fixed effect model. Okay, now you can again save this equation. So this is equation two. Click OK. All right. Now you can close this dialog box. Now the third step is to run the difference GMM. Okay. So to run the difference GMM, again select the same set of variables and open these variables as equation. Right. So you can see over here, this is the regression equation. And to run the difference GMM in the method section, you need to select Generalized method of movement, dynamic panel data. Okay, so select this method. Now you can see there are various options. So first of all, you need to select the instrument. So I have already uploaded a detailed video on how to run difference GMM. You can refer that video also because here I shall be running the model quickly in order to obtain the results for the system GMM, right? So, in the instrument list, we need to mention the instrument variables. So, the instrument variables are the independent variables. So, first you need to copy all these independent variables. Okay. And go to instrument section and paste these variables. Now, the instrument variables are the lag of the independent variables. So, you need to lag all these variables by 1. So within brackets, you can mention minus 1. So this indicates that you have actually added the lag of the independent variables. So these three were independent variables in my data set, GDP, FR, and LE. And I have added the lag of these independent variables in the instrument list. Okay. Now, Go to panel options and here in the cross section, you have various options. So since we are running the difference GMM, select difference over here and in the GMM base, difference AB1 step has been selected, right? And in the option, uh, keep rest of the things default. In the specification box, in the end, there is the option for dynamic panel visit. Okay, so click on this option and you will see a new dialog box has popped up. So click on next. Here, the question is what is your dependent variable? So it is already showing that FL, FP is the dependent variable in my data set. And then click on next. So these all are the independent variables. And we are running the difference GMS. So difference has been selected and using the Arellano bond, the dynamic dependent variable has been added and click 
on next again and you can see over here the transform differences has been mentioned and keeping the rest of the things default and click on finish so you will see over here in the specification box the lack of dependent variable has been added over here right and if you click on the instruments you will see a dynamic dependent variable has been added okay so this is how the dynamic panel wizard helps us to put the dependent variable and the dynamic dependent variable in the regression specification now all the things are set and finally you can click on okay so you can see over so now we have obtained the results for difference GML and we need to look at the value of the regression coefficient of the lagged dependent variable which is 0.91 here. Now we need to compare this value with the lower bound value and the upper bound value. As I said before, the lower bound value is obtained through the fixed effects regression and the upper bound value is obtained through the pooled mean group regression. Right now, if we open equation two, here the value of the regression coefficient of the left dependent variable is 0 0.97. Right now, if the value of the regression coefficient of the left dependent variable obtained using the difference GMM is lower than or it is below the value of fixed effect then system GMM should be preferred. The value of the regression coefficient of the length dependent variable obtained using the difference GMM is 0 0.91 and this value is less than the value of the regression coefficient obtained through fixed effects which is 0 0.97. You can compare both these values, right? So the value here using the difference GMM obtained is 0 0.91 and this value is less than 0 0.97. So it is less than or it is below the value of fixed effects that is the lower bound. So this indicates that system GMM should be preferred, right? So this is how you can decide whether difference GMM should be preferred or system GMM should be preferred, okay? So once we have decided which model is more preferable, you can run accordingly and you can obtain the regression model accordingly. So this model indicates that system GMM is more preferred. So now the next step is to run or to obtain the regression coefficient using the system GMM model, right? So in the next video, I shall explain how you can obtain the regression coefficients using the system GMM model, okay? So Keep following the videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to join my Telegram channel for queries and discussions. The link for the same is attached in the description box. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.